Welcome back everyone to some more Until Dawn. The game is heating up. We're learning all sorts of new things. We don't know all the answers yet. We're gonna figure them out. Let's go. Revelation, three hours until dawn. I feel like this guy's not bad. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. He's hunting the creature. I knew it. Can't go that way. Wait. Does this go? Where are we? Oh. Romantic postcard. A uh, postcard of Calgary with a romantic message on the back. Have a great time. Look me up. If you're in Calgary, Loretta. All right. Wait, I, I missed. Uh, whatever. Shush shimmer in, shush shimmer in. No, it's black. Ooh, is that a death totem? I did miss a lot of these. Um, that is a. What are these ones again? A fortune. Good fortune, huh? Still hear the creature. So the creature okay. kills. Okay, this is gonna be the way. What's her name? Jennifer. <laughs> Jessica. Whoa. It killed one one of the girls. And it killed those two other girls as well. Beth and Hannah. And it killed Jessica. Ashley. Ashley? I think it, one of those, I, I don't remember. Kill one of those girls as well. Okay. Shit! Looks like Gollum. Looks like Gollum, but it has longer arms and legs. Well, 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. go. Get out. Go. God, this better not be fucking infected. Oh, God. Out of it, it's behind you. Oh, God. Oops. Okay. Oh, God. Ouch. Did I? It's because I mispressed the button or what? Oops. Oopsie, 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 oops. I guess she's dead. Oh, crap. What now? Oh, no. Are you serious? Whoa. You alright? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Oh, it's the flame guy. Maybe he can explain to us what that creature is. Already, whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. It's Mr. Flamey. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, Mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just. Take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? 
Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Ah, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You're going alone. It's suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. I have a feeling he's gonna die, the flame guy. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey, come back safe. Uh, we need to hurry, son. I, uh, see you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Okay, I'll be as careful so, as I can be. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Huh. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. I mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> the, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. You know, this reminds me of the thing as well. Like, the snowy atmosphere and people be picked off one by one. Josh, he could still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go, he'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Mm. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. Oh, snap. So the launch then. Really? Yeah. Let's go now. Might still be near. That thing is messed up. It's almost like the Hannibal. Hannibal would do something like that.
That thing is crazy. What took you so long? <clears throat> it's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Do you have the key for the cable car? Josh. He's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. What is all that? Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. That's how I got back here. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. He's going out, buddy. Hey, what happened out there? You don't want to know. Hey, are you okay? He was right there. And... What, the flamethrower dude? Yeah, the, the weird guy. He got himself killed. Was it the Wendigo? Yeah. No, he was definitely not lying about that. Oh, Jesus. What did it look like? Like, 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 like a, like a person, only... But just d distorted somehow. What's this? Clue found? What does it say? Let me see that. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. Wait, what's it say? Uh, he 
should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. Now it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. So I think that guy that's talking to Josh is just his mind talking to himself. That's like inside of his mind. That's what I'm thinking. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? hurt you Joshua not intentionally they made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters they did not intend for that to happen it just did and they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture let's hope that it's not too late for atonement and that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from the depths of darkness. That's it for now. Another chapter done. Thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe and like, and I will see you all next time.